top of uh, Garrett's hair, he gets a comb over, parts it to the side. Uh, basically, we're going to demonstrate how to uh, trim the top of the hair. Once we do that, we're going to get into the corners here along the perimeter, uh, show the uh, shear over comb technique. Um, Garrett's hair is uh, pretty medium to fine, so we don't have to do anything special regarding the cut. We're going to comb all the hair forward, obviously we moisten the hair. Uh, you could use water, I like to use a uh, blade glide from Jatai. Basically just mist the hair as well. You could use this for shaving in, uh, in lieu of like a wet shave or water shave. So redirect all the hair forward, start in the front, create your guide. Work your way back in three panels. Trimming off, you know, basically what's growing back since the last haircut, quarter inch to half inch. Taking each section. Working our way all the way back to the to the crown or where the cowlick is. That's kind of where we want to stop. Everyone has a different directional cowlick, maybe two in the back, so you want to kind of stay away from or leave those certain areas a little longer because they tend to stick up uh, or, or, or pop up in the back. So we want to work our way to the crown, move over to the right here. And what we're doing really is just matching up the initial guide with the contour of the head. It's going to be our last cut. We're going to stop again to, at the cowlick. Do the same on this side. Uh, Garrett parts his hair this way, so once we create the natural part, we're going to show a technique on how to make the hair lay down right when you comb it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this area here. Again, finding the guide here in the middle, shortest point, with the contour of the head, work our way back. The shear here is a six and a half inch feather shear. We're going to use a little longer shear to demonstrate clipper or shear over comb. Just to make it a very nice and seamless blend. So again, working our way to the cowlick and stopping. If you're if you're right-handed, this area tends to uh, I've noticed a lot of barbers, stylists, where people leave the hair. If you know you parted on this side or this side, they'll tend to leave the hair long and then go shorter. Uh, you don't need to do that. You just need you need to be able to give a uh, symmetrical cut all the way around on the contour of the head. So let's say one day Gary wants to part his hair this way, he can, and he can also part it this way. So having excess hair, people do that to. Uh, avoid having the hair stick up. If it's cut properly, there shouldn't be a problem. So here in the front, since he does part it this way, I'm going to kind of turn him around a little bit. To avoid that, I'm going to get in the front here. Again, shortest point, connecting the guide. I have to get in front here because if I want it, if I, if I try and do it this way, I'm really over, you know, it's awkward. So why do that? Why be in an awkward position? Get in front of your client. Work your way back. You know, the secret to a gentleman's haircut is there is no secret. It's not a special haircut. It's a, it's a regular haircut. It's the way it's styled. So, We've trimmed all the hair on the perimeter. We're gonna we're gonna actually move over one here just to make sure there's a disconnection here, so we need to fix that, especially in the front. So we're gonna go here, short to the guy, work our way around. We don't want to get down here because we need to shear over comb technique on that. All the way back. All the way back.